Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another brand new video. Do you feel lost in life? Are you tired of the same old nine to five only for it to happen again the following week? Sometimes life can feel like a blur. It might seem like a visual depiction of the quote, eat, work, repeat. You wake up early, go to school or work, rest, and the cycle continues, day in and day out. If you're looking to take back some control over your life, here are six small habits that can change your life forever. Number one, a gratefulness list. Do you feel like you forget things easily? And that moment you try to remember them, it just escapes your memory? It's hard for your memory to store every moment of your waking life. Time can lead you to forget about some of the things that you had once cared about. Maybe a stranger complimented your hair once a week ago, or your teacher commended you for submitting a great project. Weeks later, these things all fall into the recesses of your brain and are forgotten completely. Psychologists from the University of California did some research, and it showed that people who write about things they're grateful for are more optimistic and feel better about their lives. It can even lead you to take action more, like exercising, which further improves mental health and well-being. Number two, a social media detox. Are you aware of how much time you've been spending on social media platforms lately? Is it day after day of scrolling? In the face of the pandemic, more people than ever look to their phone screens and social media for their social fix. But alongside it, many negative aspects have arisen, such as feelings of inadequacy, FOMO, feelings of isolation and self-absorption. A 2018 UPenn study found that reducing social media to 30 minutes a day can significantly reduce feelings of anxiety, depression, and sleep problems. It doesn't mean you have to cut back on it all at once, but even just a slight time reduction can already bring great benefits. According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you haven't, and at the end of the video you enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing. It would help a lot with YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. Number three, clean your room daily. Have you tidied up your room recently? Does your workspace look neatly organized or are things sprawled all over? Working in a clean room can give both your mind and body a whole host of benefits. These benefits include improved sleep quality, increased productivity, and a sense of accomplishment. If your room is messier than you would like, it's advisable to try and divide your process into more manageable chunks to make it feel less daunting. A little bit of effort can go a long way. Throw in some good music and you're all set for the adventure. Number four, the 80-20 principle. Ever heard of the 80-20 principle? Wilfredo Pareto first introduced the 80-20 principle, which laid out the idea that 20% of homeowners own 80% of the land. These same principles apply to your daily life. Only 20% of the work that you do contributes to 80% of your success. This means a big chunk of what you do is not relevant to your success. To identify the 20%, you could start with a list of everything you'd like to accomplish with the most important tasks at the top. It helps you recognize the top 20% and focus on those tasks. With that, you can improve your efficiency and push your efforts in things that truly matter most to you. Number five, meditate. Did you know that meditation dates back thousands of years? Do you ever wonder if it actually improves anything? To answer the question, meditation or spending a few minutes practicing mindfulness has been proven to help. Its primary purpose is to give you a sense of calm and restore your inner peace. It doesn't require anything more but you and a nice quiet environment. Meditating brings down your stress levels, giving you some space to be alone with yourself and your thoughts. Meditation is also the ultimate detoxifier. It can increase your self-awareness, help you focus on the present and reduce negative emotions. Not only that, but there are multiple ways to meditate too, such as Tai Chi or yoga. Take your pick. And number six, exercise. Are you a treadmill person or run around your local park person? No matter what the mode is, it's the intent that matters. When you exercise, you're not just working your muscles and other physical aspects of your body, you're improving your mental state too. Exercising releases endorphins, which are feel-good chemicals that can boost your energy throughout the day. By building up the habit of exercise, you can boost both your physical and mental well-being, which in turn increases your confidence, optimism, and decreases your stress levels. Habits are not one-time escapes. They're consistent, rudinary acts that can be fostered with the right mindset and determination. Striving to cut down bad habits and building up good ones, even if you feel like your progression is slow, it's a great step in the right direction. 
it will come out all for the better. Do you think these habits are achievable? What are some habits you'd like to break out of? Feel free to leave comments down below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there trial and erroring their way through life habits. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. And as always, thanks for watching.